Well, hello everybody, welcome back to another Forex Market Analysis session. My name is Alexander Nikitin. I'm a professional trader and the developer of Pattern Search software. And I have pretty good news for you. I am migrating from M to MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 5. Now you can see how my patterns look as they drawn on MetaTrader 5. Uh, MetaTrader 5 uh, runs a different uh, language uh, it is mql5 i am to learn that language from the very beginning well not actually from the very beginning because it resembles slightly the mql4 but still all my programs should be uh, rewritten uh, from the very beginning because they simply don't work in metatrader 5 well, uh, when I finish my work, I will, of course, uh, make it available on my website www.ps-software.net and everybody who is interested in uh, MetaTrader 5 indicators can purchase that as well as MetaTrader 4 indicators. Uh, so let's continue to my analysis. Let me close this. I start uh, one hour euro dollar as usual it is a routine uh, nothing pretty much changed uh, because we have uh, interest rate decision today so no not very many opportunities uh, euro yen if you wish that is a valid godly if price declines to 133 uh, 0 .2. Uh, 133.02 uh, it is a valid godly do i have it in my platform euro yen yes i have this godly it is already set uh, euro aussie we have a bad formation here uh, and uh, FXCM quotes and I think I have a bad formation here as well with uh, my quotes so Euro Aussie but advanced formation is on my radar as well uh, I didn't post that on trading view so my YouTube subscribers get this information first so this pattern was invalidated Euro New Zealand so whoever uh, was placing orders should delete them uh, now price decline lower so I won't draw any got this this way because this you see the leg is broken so it is not a straight movement not good for our leg it is good for correction but it's not good for XA leg Five three four five thirteen nothing here. Okay, pound dollar we have a movement higher violating the most recent high. Now let me switch that to this. No, no pattern here. Uh, this is invalidated. We can look for a pattern this way to the highest high to the lowest low then to the highest high again and to the lowest low again it will be a godly pattern pound dollar let me look at my meta trader no i am to place this trade right now in case it moves lower uh, this time i will be using uh, monster pattern search so uh, and it works this way I draw the line I draw another line and I draw the third line so I mark the overall shape of the pattern and then I run my monster pattern search and uh, enable custom swing to true and what I need to do I need to switch to advanced patterns because I trade uh, aggressively with advanced patterns 
I don't trade conservatively with harmonics. And that's it. So we have a godly pattern. It is valid pattern. It is drawn the same way as it is drawn with manual HPS2. Absolutely the same way. 34, 2, 2, 6. 34, 2, 2, 6 is the entry. Stop loss is 33.50 okay done the trade is set so my risk on that is 36 and my reward is 36 as well one to one trading opportunity do it the unnecessary stuff uh, okay so uh, guys if you don't see that uh, right part of your chart this is because uh, you didn't uh, ship that enough i personally shift this arrow to the left to have enough space but it won't work if you don't enable the uh, shift chart if you don't have that you see you don't have prices so there were some questions about this enable this and then adjust to your taste if you wish it closer to the right axis or a bit uh, to the left let's go next pound yen pound yen it made the higher high and then uh, we don't have anything on pound yen pound Aussie is the next it moved and installed the lower low then we installed the higher high you see we've broken the previous high and now we are doing nothing the movements are not very large everybody's quiet everybody's waiting for the great decision i think so i don't know what happens on the markets i just play the probabilities if i see the pattern i see the probability of making money I just enter without ever thinking about interest rate decisions uh, pound CHF this one is invalidated well it is still valid but to my rules it is valid yes like this this is a corrective structure consolidation structure if it drops lower we'll have a nice opportunity to get involved pound chf let me see if i enable that trade gbp chf got the pattern well it requires some modification uh, let's require that uh, let's do that modification so draw this x to a a to b b to c and then double click true advanced so the pattern is drawn the entry didn't change nothing changed uh, let's go next OC dollar moving higher and you higher high do we have a cipher pattern no no cipher OCM moving higher I am short on this pair and it is moving higher well maybe I will have a stop loss it's time for me to have a stop loss I didn't have any stops for about a week already only winners so it's time already time came to have a stop loss New Zealand dollar uh, violation to the downside new low low and then high low high high sorry 
Okay, some of you are asking me why I am drawing those things manually. Uh, the answer is simple, because I want to. Uh, it doesn't mean that automatic uh, swing identification technique is uh, worse and manual is better. It doesn't mean that. Drawing swings manually, I take part in analysis process. Drawing patterns automatically, I don't take part in the analysis process. I own the trade, so it, it is boring. I'd like to check all those sides myself, all the sides of the pattern. Uh, dollar, Canadian, one hour, I posted that yesterday, so you should have that on your radar as well. So if you have planned this trade, you are welcome to trade or plan. Nothing on Canadian yen. So we we'll move next. Pound dollar was the only trade that I found today uh, in the afternoon. Okay, start from euro dollar. Cypher is still uh, in progress, it didn't complete, it moves higher and higher and higher. Euro Yen, nothing changed, Euro Aussie, moving lower, Euro New Zealand, we have a violation continuation of a downtrend Euro Canadian uh, here is the disputable situation we'll have it moving to the downside okay so we'll have a violation okay if it goes deeper we can potentially look at this large pattern on Euro Canadian pound dollar moved higher. So let us see. I uh, know this is shallow. Pound yen, nothing changed. Pound Aussie, okay. Pound New Zealand going lower. Pound Canadian, nothing, pound CHF, nothing, Aussie dollar, let's move higher, violating the previous lower highs, now we have a high high, okay, Aussie yen, moving against me, 145, 1419, so this cipher is not valid, only bad pattern stays in play, uh, bad formation, not a bad pattern, there is a difference between bad pattern and bad formation, when you call it bad pattern it is a harmonic pattern, by default it is a harmonic pattern so to do distinguish between the two bets uh, the advanced formation and harmonic patterns we call them either bad pattern or bad advanced formation nothing here well New Zealand dollar potential butterfly pattern can be, could be, well this spike is uh, violating that uh, X leg, so it's not a butterfly pattern, but it can be with your quotes, New Zealand dollar, and the USD,
and that's exactly what it does it is valid with my cloth if I stretch the fibs uh, it already completed but it didn't hit any targets and I go here to place my stop 74 14 3 done and this time I will press the letter M at market you see right now I had sell instead of sell limit I had sell and immediately it started modi being modified by patent trading system because we are uh, violating the high the extreme as price violates the extreme immediately it is uh, being modified look at this New Zealand dollar modify 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 you see it is very hard to modify it manually you will need to modify it mm, pretty fast <laughs> pretty often you need to sit in front of that restrict your fibs restrict your fibs restrict your fibs so a butterfly pattern is valid I entered that at market uh, the target is 73.25 and 73.10 and the stop loss is 74.14 done New Zealand dollar so it is not valid with FXCM quotes but it is valid with my broker's quotes because I don't have that large spike higher Uh, you know what? Uh, this is not the trade I'm supposed to be in. <laughs> the only simple mistake I did. It is a silly mistake, of course. Uh, the time frame. I've been analyzing the 4 hour time frame, and the spike was here because I switched to 4 hour. Let me do it this way. Let me double check it. If it is not valid, I will exit with uh, whatever result, positive or negative, doesn't matter. Oh, it is a butterfly pattern here. We can see this XA leg and then we have that zigzag information. Well, guys, I just didn't notice that on one hour time. Pet market butterfly. Butterflies should be great. Okay, uh, let me continue. And it is moving against me. It is valid. No need to delete that. Back to one hour. Making it smaller. Okay. And New Zealand Yen. Uh, what I've noticed um, in the course of the past few years, maybe in the recent years, uh, that before that, uh, when I was uh, in UB, when I was only uh, trying to to find the way how can I consistently generate the money uh, I, I've noticed the uh, thing that when I make a mistake it makes my results worse but as I become more and more experienced as a trader uh, I've noticed the opposite when I make a mistake uh, it typically improves my results or maybe it gives me a pattern that I ordinarily uh, couldn't notice. Okay, so the dollar Canadian is still valid. Uh, doesn't matter that it moves to the downside. It is valid until it hits the D point or it violates the C. Either this or that. It is strange. It, it is a bit strange. 
uh, nothing else let me save that okay let's go back to my method trader so overall results are uh, the same balance it didn't change uh, 1k and 100 uh, currently in a loss uh, moving towards my stop loss still have some plays uh, New Zealand dollar is moving against me as well uh, and Euro Aussie is very, very close to completion other patterns are potential they still have some uh, space they still have some time so that's it about the trading opportunities uh, that I have on my radar and that I have uh, running right now if you find that video useful uh, give me your thumbs ups if you want to learn more about my software go to www.ps-software.net uh, it is a very uh, good resource not only you can learn about my software you can learn the patterns one of the most uh, detailed explanation available for free click on whatever picture to get the descrip detailed description like this every single step is described so if you try to find some uh, patent trading course uh, you will most likely be charged some money <laughs> for the information that I provide for free learn the patents very powerful explanation website well now that's it give me your thumbs ups I share this video on social media until then good luck good trading trade your plans